Hey everyone, my name is Steve Jerk. I'm 31 and I'm an IT consultant and I want to show you guys my crib, East LA edition. Let's take a walk. Welcome to my boat. Purchased this home about two years ago. Spent a lot of time remodeling it. Very proud of what I've done. And so uh, happy to have you guys in. Um, yeah, I live here too. Hi everyone, my name is Gail, I'm an accountant, and contrary to Sue's belief, I also share this abode with him. Okay, blip on my part, the girl is always right. But, uh, to continue with our tour, I wanted to show you my little whiskey collection. I'm a huge single malt whiskey fan. Um, but that's, but this show is not about booze, right? So let me show you about the rest of my house. This is, uh... One of the places I'm really, really proud of, it's uh, my dining room. Uh, I spent, I actually overspent on my remodeling, and so I took it upon myself to do a lot of this DIY myself. We start with a, a little bench here, um, you know, accented by a little cushion on top, our rustic dining table, and this, this is my Edison style vintage lighting. You know, with that said, uh, let me show you what's in the kitchen. Over here, this is uh, what I call the entertainment center. Not the kind of entertainment center you think about when you think about a TV, but uh, this is where all the cooking happens. We have friends and family over. Cocktails are made here. You know, a little bar, a little mixology happening here. Um, so the kitchen may be Steve's favorite part of the house, but this is clearly my favorite part of the house. And while that is his definition of entertainment center, this is my idea of entertainment center. All right, now that we've shown you what our personality looks like is on the inside, it's time to show you what we have for you on the outside. Wah, wah, wah. Clearly, our outside is highlighted by our homage to Orange is the New Black, highlighted by our chain link fence. With a little bit of decoration, you know, we tried to spruce up the place. Clearly, you can see that plants are thriving in our yard. But let me show you this. In this little corner, we have a couple of nice features. We have a, you know, clothes drying, hanging, tea that really leads to nowhere. Um, we have uh, some work of Paul Bunyan himself and you know some rocks that I really wish I could give you a story but uh, there's no story. And the other thing I absolutely detest, lack of privacy right here. And I'm not kidding you, I have seen my neighbor in his shorts hanging outside. Okay. So I told you that I love to entertain. Now, this is my little setup here. You can tell there's a nice uh, plastic table with a dusty accent. A little bit of uh, grilling action here, the grill I am proud of. But look, there's a hole in our little <laughs> mini roof. I, I, you know, when it rains, I can't, can't hang out here and grill, you know? I mean, I know it doesn't rain that often in LA, but I do love to entertain. So here are some of the things that we, I, wish we had. I wish we had a little area to maybe grow some herbs, um, plant a couple of citrus trees, because you know I love to cook and having some of that fresh produce around is really, really helpful. And if you come take a look at here, I know this this grill area clearly, clearly needs some work. You know, maybe some- Okay, go. And as far as our favorite chain link fence, it'd be great to cover it with some foliage that gives us a little bit of privacy without obstructing the view. I mean... Prison yard. Clearly where we exchange notes. And um, over here, just a little shield from our friendly neighbors. Would be great. And this friendly package. So there you have it. That's a little tour of our house. Our lovely, lovely backyard. And I uh, just want to say we hope to see you guys soon. Bye. Bye.